What's going on everyone? This is going to be a little bit different type of video today. I'm not just going to necessarily review the latest Walking Dead episode, but I'm necessarily this is going to be kind of like just a laid back editorial kind of video where I'm just going to talk about my feelings on this episode. Uh, this was Rick's farewell, Rick Grimes' farewell episode. I got a lot of feelings building up. Um, I did tear up. I did cry. I'm still kind of crying right now. And, uh, background thing I, i'm a huge walking dead fan uh I, this is the only comic book series i still read to date oh that i've been with it with its ups and downs and i actually do feel like that this season is its best that it's ever been in a very long time actually in like the last three seasons i feel like the writing has been exceptional i love that they really just focused down and buckled down on rick grimes and the community itself within these early episodes and now knowing that rick is gone from the walking dead I'll get to the TV movies in a second. The episode as a whole, I thought was brilliant. I I, I thought it, I literally thought it was brilliant. Yeah, it was a little bit like Tyrese's farewell, but I thought it worked. I thought it was very smart. I thought it was brilliant. Um, going through the different ghosts as he's trying to find his family, and um, uh, let's let's just go through them. With Shane, um, that was great dialogue of them going back and forth, and uh, getting John Berth and all in there was great. But overall, then you go to Sasha later down the road. But the one that was in the middle that really, it hit me, was uh, Herschel. Um, obviously, he is past now. Rest in peace to him. He was a brilliant actor, not just within The Walking Dead, but in general, within life. Uh, he was just a great actor. And um, this was his last film presence. It was that That's when I started breaking down. Um, Herschel was a crucial moment to The Walking Dead. He was a crucial character. And his death affected so many things within The Walking Dead. And his dialogue in here was great. And I think it led into Sasha's next. And that last one-two take punch where Rick walks over the bridge. And you see everyone running past it. Everyone's going to get him. Everyone's going to save him. And Michonne kisses him and says, wake up, Rick. I knew it was fake. And he walks across the bridge. And everyone's trying to come, finally coming to save him. Daryl's shooting arrows. Everyone's trying to get to divert the walker's attention. And uh, Rick sees dynamite, shoots it, blows it up. The bridge is destroyed. Four months of nothing, but kills the whole herd. And uh, this is actually a prediction of mine. I, I, earlier today, I was like, I don't think they're actually going to kill him. And he just wished off with the waves and um, junkyard lady. Anna, Annie, I think that's her name, maybe. Uh, she's the one character I've like, never really cared about. Like, I like and I don't, but she's been in contact with this helicopter, which I've been predicting is the Commonwealth. I don't know if that's 100% true. I'm going to guess it is, but I don't know, and I don't think I'm going to know. And I don't know how long they've been planning this storyline for it, if it was from last season. I know there's been some hints with the helicopter. I don't know if they were knew they were going to take Rick, but... I don't know how long they've known Rick was leaving or Andrew Lincoln was leaving the show, but I thought it was, you know, she finds him and saves him. And yeah, um, I, for, on that part, I, I'm happy he didn't die because then I know, I, I do feel like deep down that he will reunite with this cast one day. Maybe not for now. And this is where I kind of go is that Scott Gimble, the showrunner, well, used to be a showrunner, but pretty much the big guy in charge of the Walking Dead franchise right now. I, 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 I'm not going to go against, I don't love all the decisions he's made with the Walking Dead. I think killing Carl was stupid, but I am moderately curious with this now. He's, he announced on the Talking Dead that there will be three spinoff movies starring Rick Grimes on the AMC. It's starting this AMC original films. And I'm really curious to this. I think this is a smart move, but also a risky move. And also the reason I don't feel know how to feel about it yet is Rick is the main character of The Walking Dead. Now, now we'll get to the ending of this episode and where I don't know where it's going to go now, but I, I think it was brilliant the way that they ended this whole episode. I, I, I really think this was like one of the most brilliant endings to one of the episodes in The Walking Dead. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you guys feel different, but... Rick's farewell episode overall was great. Um, it was just him slogging wrong and just a nice montage episode type of thing where just going through his life and just him realizing that 
yeah, Carl's dead. Yeah, Lori's dead. But his real family is this group that he's made, this group that he is completely bonded with. And the, just the symbolism, the meaning with this episode is just totally smart. I know some people will hate this episode. Some people will think it's boring, but I, it worked for me. And I'm really happy to see he just didn't die by just falling on it and impaling it. It was just going to be a dream episode. I, I'm really happy that wasn't there. And one of my favorite moments is when he's in that whole Pit of the Dead with Sasha. It's a total great homage to one of the best comic book visual pictures that they ever did in The Walking Dead. But uh, it was great that he opened the Don't Open Dead Inside door. And it, it, it really was beautiful, but... Going again, the Junkyard Lady saves him, and there will be three movies about him that will, will continue Rick's life, and I think this does help Andrew Link. He wants to spend more time with his family. This opens it up that realm. Where they go, I don't know. I It's hard for me to say Rick Grimes will never return to The Walking Dead necessarily. I think he will. I'm like, I, If I had to bet my left foot, I probably would. 99.9% .9 chance that he will return in some capacity way down the road. I mean, people will talk about the ratings dropping for the show, but reality is it's still one of the highest rating shows, and I think people need to remember that. It was really high up, but it still has its audience, and walking AMC ain't just going to throw this away. I mean, if they're planning the movies, it's going to work. I guess I can't really say anything much more about that until I see the first movie. I'm curious. I can't wait. AMC, you want to send it over to me? I'd gladly watch it. Love The Walking Dead. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm curious to see where that goes. And um, let's talk about the ending now. This is where I jaw, my jaw dropped. So when we see these people, we see Don, Dan Fogelman, and we, we knew he got casted in. They're surrounded by zombies. And then these shoot, shoots, these shots start going out. And it's a little girl saying, come here, follow this way. And once I heard that little girl, I'm like, that's Judith. That's Judith. And um, I remember them saying that they were going to give a lot of Carl storylines to other characters, especially with his relationship with Negan. And I always predicted, oh, it's probably going to be Judith. They're going to do a time jump. And they did. But this time jump has to be four to six years at least. Um, and I love that The Walking Dead did something smart. The first five episodes of the season were very much an epilogue to the last part of the season, which I really liked. I, I thought that's this last five episodes should have been what... The back half of last season was but it, it worked for this and now going into this i think the back half now i can't speak because i haven't seen the next episode and the rest of the season but i do think and this is where i'm going to say this is i think the walking dead will be fine without rick grimes i was very worried that it wasn't going to be but i think doing this big time jump adding these new characters who maybe these are going to be our new protagonists but also still having michonne still having maggie around for now we know lauren cohen is leaving eventually and having i, I don't think she'll die though I, I i really don't think she will but having her and having these characters kind of just go about you you'll have these these central characters carol ezekiel just moving forward with a new villain when we see the herd in that little preview um that's the whispers we we all know it's the whispers uh i'm happy uh, I love that time jump. I think time jumping it helps a lot. I know this is very much just a rambling on of this episode. I know more I'm just usually cohesive and just talking, but I'm emotional. Um, I love this episode. I love this season, what they're doing so far. And I think that was a brilliant take by the showrunner to take the show five years into the future right after this. That way we're not thinking, oh, where's Rick Grimes? But the movies will be able to get us there. And... I'm just curious to what goes on next. I Again, however they end the show, I still think Rick Grimes will come in. And I think this is where I go to say, I think Michonne, for right now, I think Michonne and Maggie will definitely be the lead characters. But I think after Maggie does leave, it will be Michonne and Daryl. And it'll be their show. And I am happy that they're going in that direction. I think Michonne deserves it. I think Downey Gurela is one of the best actors on the show, personally. I think she's personally my favorite. I think she's brilliant. And I think this episode showed a lot of depth. I think it showed a lot of depth in Negan's character. I, I mean, it made me care about him. Like, I've always liked Negan's character, and I care about him because of the comics, but the show actually made me care about him. I think that's... He's never going to get that redeeming arc, but I think there will be people starting to go and feel for him more. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe you won't, but a lot of smart things in this episode. A lot of great character progression. And the epilogue's done for last season. It's a totally new Walking Dead show. And if for some reason you're still not watching the show, I recommend checking out this season. I think it'll get you back on board. It's slow. It's a drama. And that's something we need to remember about The Walking Dead is that it's not an action-packed horror thriller. It is a drama. 
about people just trying to survive in this post-apocalyptic world. And it's one of my favorite things about The Walking Dead. They're nailing the essence of the comics finally for the season. Again, getting back to that point. Rick Grimes, farewell to you, man. Andrew Lincoln, you are great. I can't wait to see what you do next. I'm really curious about these movies. I hope they work out. I'm curious. I'm excited for the future of The Walking Dead. I think that's where I can leave this at. So let me know down below. Let's talk about The Walking Dead. What is your favorite Rick Grimes moment? Let's talk about it down below. Uh, what do you think of this episode? Let's talk about it. If you guys so much for watching this. Again, if you guys want to check out some movies early, because you guys, people love watching movies early, go check out Sandwich on Films also down below. And you can check out some movie news and movie reviews I also do over there. But thank you guys so much for watching this. And farewell, Rick Grimes.